Okay, quick video, hopefully, maybe. Um, and maybe sound is quite good for once. Doubt it though. All right, some updates. I'm now coming in. I haven't done much more than my last video in terms of the sketches. I haven't added much more. I did cut out some crap that I'm gonna go figure out how to fill in later. But actually what I wanted to do is start grouping things together as if they're components to be thickened uh, and cutting things up. So I started doing that and in doing that I discovered I was using the knit feature wrong. Because apparently there's this merge entities thing that if you use it and you knit something together and you try and cut it later and knit it to something else, it'll pop back in pieces of the original knit even though you visually it looks like they're no longer part of each other um, but I think I got that squared away so just a quick overview I'm just going to hide some things each one of the things I'm going to hide should ultimately be its own unique piece so like this guy here I'm going to hide that whole little section goes away and that is one piece that would be thickened and attached and transformable and it does some stuff the same thing for this wing wing root that's what i'm calling it get that guy out of there so that whole section that would hold the wing and i'm not attaching the wing has disappeared that would be a transformable piece so if you can kind of see what i'm doing there um the canopy section here the nose this whole little section i still have to fill some stuff in there but each little thing is you know being formed into its final you know, thickened state once I can get there right so I mean that looks stupid but this guy is his own piece this guy is his own piece right it's gonna fold out and do some crap I'm not sure I'm gonna do this just yet without thickening and doing some combines um, because there's a recess here that perfectly fits the piece that I hid that holds this canopy. And they obviously have to fit snug. Um, but everything else, you know, um, again, whatever the shield thing is starting to come in. Ooh, there's something somewhere. I got to knit something to something else. And it's running around without its partner. Uh, I also came back in, did some touch-ups to the arms because I didn't like how that was looking. And that's where we are. So I think I'm almost done on trying to cut things up, maybe. Maybe I might come in and start cutting out hinges. Maybe I'll do something to the leg. I don't know. I doubt it. I think I want to really flesh out this stuff figure out what I want to do there and then move on to this part I guess Again, my goal is to try and do as many things that can be shelled as possible before I start thickening things and then running into all the problems that come with that which is hey once you do this and that edge wasn't as clean as you thought it was it's now got some curve or some lip to it that you now can't cut or combine the way you want it to. So if you can somehow get everything perfect first, maybe if there's some issues, some minor collisions, they will cleanly combine away as a subtraction or something. And, you know, I won't have huge issues. Like, when I go to thicken this, I mean, there's, it's obvious, obviously colliding already. But when I do it, since they're already like this, I didn't jam them together trying to work off of an already thickened piece or something like that. Maybe that'll cleanly subtract. Or maybe it won't, but just the design overall was good enough. Like, oh, you can scooch it. Do some sanding on your version. Uh just to clean it up, but it'll go ahead and transform with no problems, and that's just the way it is. I don't know. Some weird stuff going on in here, maybe not. So, 
that's the quick update. That's what I'm trying to do. Uh, and then, yeah. So it's going to be kind of, um, you know, slow going maybe from here because it gets really um, slow when you're just like selectively going, mm, I think I'll work on this piece. Or, mm, I think I'll go cut that duct out. Don't know what I want to do next, but let me get the hell out of there because I know I'm going to do it and I need to make progress. Do something to move forward, even if it seems like you can't. Anyway, next time.